So this is a little selection of some of the books I've made recently. Um, a lot of what I make, I like to use um, leftovers, recycle old books, recycle old paper, um, just use things that I can find. Um, I do sometimes buy new paper too, um, but as much as possible, I like to use what's around me already um, kind of in my life. For me, that's about telling stories. Um, I like the memories that you get from remembering where a piece of fabric came from or a piece of paper or a book. Um, so let me just take you through one or two of these um, on the inside so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's clear a little space on my worktop. Um, so let's go for a simple one first. Um, this book is a um, card that was new on the outside that forms a little case to protect the inside. Um, and this little book is all full of drawings um, of baby ferns. It was made, um, let me think, probably in April at some point. So when the ferns were just beginning to come out. So they were still tiny, a lot of curled up, really fresh, green, beautiful things. Um, and I was fascinated by them. So I just made a lot of drawings. Um, and this little book is made out of a magazine page. So if I open it like that, you can see the inside. Um, and I just, well, it's two pages stuck together, folded in half, painted white. Um, I have some really good acrylic. There you go, I can show you that's the, the pot. You can see that, but it's just acrylic matte white paint. Um, and I water it down a little bit as well because I really like to see the words coming through. Um, and often I will make my pages so the words go horizontally, um, I'm sorry, vertically rather than horizontally, um, because then you don't really see them as words. You see them just as kind of blocks of texture and shape. So that's, that's that one. Uh, this second one I made back in January, I think, um, for the Are You Book Enough project on Instagram that I try and follow every month. Um, it really pushes you. It really gives you challenge. You respond to a word each month. And this book, the word was in between. So I had one book. Um, that I found in, in a charity shop um, and I split the book as you can see cut it into three and then each one I took out the insides and then I made new signatures which are these sections on the inside I made new signatures from the pages of the book pages of a second book um, and some old maps so you have three different sections. So you can, I when I make books, I really like books I can play with that I can, so this one you can put it back together. You can make all sorts of arrangements with it. Pop open different pages at different times. I like the holes because you can see through. It's just very playful, very interesting. Um, so that is that one. I'm just giving you a very quick whistle stop um, tour of, of a few of these books. So there's more story to them, but I don't have time right now to tell you everything. So I'll give you little bits. Um, this one, again, um, the card I did buy. Um, but everything else has come from an old book about sculpture. So this one is three, again, three sections. 
I'm a, I'm a big fan of odd numbers for some reason. Don't really know why. Just like just works for me. Um, so the text, chapter one. Sorry, do it that way around. Chapter one, and then the the words. It says our knowledge of an object is complete only when we have exhausted all our sensational reactions to it. I just liked that quote. And then these are my little objects, but they're very playful little books. So the basic structure of these is a double concertina. If I show you the three. But these little structures, you can play with them. So you can make them into all sorts of different shapes, like so. You can also make them into kind of little tree shapes. And for me, this, this was all about playing. So I wanted to create, as you can see, something that I could play with and make shapes. So that's very simply. Um, again, there's more story to that. And if, if you want to know more about the stories behind these books, you can find most of them on Instagram. So if, if you look, look me up on Instagram, Sarah Grace Die, and scroll down and find these different books and then you can read the full stories about them. Um, this one um, is a very personal one. And um, it was another one for the Are You Book Enough challenge. And the word was heal. So for me, this was about the loss of family members and all the ephemera that we have left so for me going through that ephemera and making little books with what i found really helped me um so this one is my parents and it's their wedding so the photos of their wedding and each there's two halves to this book with a photo in the middle and each half these are letters that my dad wrote to my mum in the run-up to the wedding and these are letters my mum wrote to my dad um, this is called a turkish map fold but i've kind of changed it a little bit by making it oval normally you would use um, a square or a rectangle but i've cut them into a shape again just so it's playful I love books that are playful. Look, you can play with this and make shapes with it. It's such a lot of fun. And that's what I think, for me, making books is about. It's playing, having fun. They can be so much more than just a simple open shot story. So that's that one. Um, this one, again, a book I found in a charity shop and I used this as part of the cover from the book, um, an old map. The book um, is a Thomas Hardy poems. The map is of Dorset, so um, the area that Thomas Hardy wrote about and lived in a lot of the time. Um, and then these tea bags. This, this book is entirely made from tea bags. These tea bags were from a couple of days staying with one of my best friends in Dorset, um, sharing together. So I cut words from the book, the Thomas Hardy book, and created, basically wrote my own poem with found text from Thomas Hardy. So as you can see. Um, and with this one, I really liked the fact that you can see the you can see through the tea bag paper. You can pick up bits of words as you go through. I particularly like the tea staining. Um, that's just all as it was, as the tea bags dried, um, and it makes it very delicate little book. So that's. That one, um, I use a lot of tea bags in my work, partly because I drink a lot of tea. <laughs> so 
So this one is a little bit different um, because it's more of a, a scroll really than anything. Um, again, this was an Are You Book Enough Challenge book um, and the word was human. Um, and for me, the thing that came into my mind was the ties that bind that phrase. So I used this piece of fabric and stitched for hours. <laughs> Um, and stitched, I wanted to stitch in lots of colours um, and I wanted to hand stitch so every stitch was different so as you can see, let's bring that up close you can see there's a lot of sticks that stitches they're all kind of on the top of each other um, I'll show you this little card again found um, some words from an old book that I had you can see that And I felt that was particularly, um, with all the things that have been going on recently, we're all thinking about what it means to be human, um, about human rights. And I just was really struck that actually how powerful are we if we all are going together in the same direction. We're so much stronger. Um, and that's what this piece was about. And then finally, show you this one. Um, again, let's put it up this way. See this one, just gonna, um, the word for this one was break. Um, and this kind of links in with the book about my parents that many years ago when my dad died, um, I lived by the beach and I would go nearly every day walking my dog on the beach um, and I got very obsessed oops, wrong way around got very obsessed with picking up broken shells so this book is kind of in memory of that um, but the, the actual shells this time were snail shells because where I am currently I'm nowhere near a beach um, so I was finding snail shells, so these are snail shells and again found words from a book and these are just my little drawings of pieces of shells and they get smaller and smaller and smaller but for me the kind of essence of this book is really about how when things are broken they become more and more beautiful in my eyes anyway I find things more interesting particularly these kind of spiraled shells when they get broken you can see the inside and you can see the beautiful strength and the workings that hold that piece together um, so that's what this one was about so there you go quick overview of my books. Um, I hope that helped you give a little bit, gets a little bit of an insight into my working practice. Thanks for watching.